and this is Cindy from Stamped with Aloha. I have a really fun project to share with you today. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a Spam Musubi gift card holder. Now if you clicked on this video then you probably know what a Spam Musubi is and are interested to make this project and if you don't know what a Spam Musubi is you're about to find out. This project is going to be a part of my mission to support local businesses here in my community and today's local business that I'm supporting is Tanioka's seafood and catering in located in Waipahu, Hawaii. All right, are you ready to see the project? Here it is. This is my Spam Musubi box. So a Spam Musubi is made up of rice, Spam, and seaweed. And so I'm gonna teach you how to create these three elements out of paper. So let's get started. The first thing that you're gonna need is a piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. I've laid it on my Simply Scored scoring tool and I'm going to start scoring it on the five and a half inch side. I'm gonna score it at the one inch mark, and then I'm going to score it again at the four and a half inch mark. Then I'm gonna turn the cardstock on the seven and a half inch side. I'm gonna score it again at one inch. Then I'm gonna score it at three and a quarter inches, four and a quarter inches, and I'm gonna score it one last time at six and a half inches. Okay, all our scoring is done, and I know it's a little bit hard to see that on the camera, so I'm gonna just take and fold on the score lines using my phone folder to crease all of those score lines so that um, it will help the box to fold together a little more easily, plus it'll help you to be able to see where those score lines are. So hopefully now you can see where those score lines are a little bit better, but I've scored a one inch border all the way around this entire box. So now to prepare it, to glue it together, we're going to do some punching and some cutting. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is use my one and a half circle punch. You can choose either end on the five and a half side, and I'm going to put the cardstock inside the punch, and I'm just going to center it and then punch out a little bite out of the end like that. Notice how I said bite, because it's a musubi, so. All right, the next step is I'm going to take my paper snips, and then I'm going to cut from the outside here straight on that scored line until it meets the one inch scored line that's running across the um, project horizontally. So I'm gonna go from the outside up to that one inch score line. I'm gonna come over here to this three and a quarter inch scored line, go up to the one inch scored line, then the four and a quarter score line, and then back over here on the six and a half score line. And then I'm gonna take and come back and I'm going to cut a triangle out of each of those sections. By doing this, this will just help the box to fold up a little bit more neatly. So I'm gonna do this on all four sections, and then I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side. All right, so now that the box has been cut, it is ready to be embossed. So I'm gonna take this piece of cardstock, I'm going to fold it in half, then I'm going to be using my Tasteful Textile 3D embossing folder. I'm gonna open this up, place my folded cardstock inside, I'm going to close it, run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine and when it comes out it is going to look like this so now you can see that it has this nice texture on it that resembles little grains of rice and so then i'm going to take and i'm going to lay it down and now we're going to glue it together so the way that we're going to do this is i'm going to start at the bottom with these bottom two flaps i'm going to fold in the flaps i'm going to take my multi-purpose liquid glue i'm going to add a little liquid glue here on the bottom and then i'm going to carefully lift these two flaps up and I'm going to pull up the sides and I'm going to just pinch and hold it in place for a second and then I'll come over to the opposite side and I'll just line that up and pinch and hold that in place and then we'll just hold that there just for a minute until it dries and then we'll move on to the next section all right we're going to do the same thing again so I'm going to fold in the two flaps I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue And then I'm going to lift this section up and I'm going to just press it on the side and pinch it together. And then I'll do the same on the opposite side. So now it's time to do the top of the box. And so for this, we're gonna adhere it a little bit differently. So I'm gonna pick up the box, I'm gonna turn it to the side, 
Then I'm going to take and close the front flap and then I'm gonna fold in the flap on the side of the box like that. And then we're going to put our adhesive here. And then we're going to just fold the flap over and pinch it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Fold this in. Put my adhesive and fold the flap over and then just hold it in place for a minute. All right, so our box is done. And so now we're gonna go on to the next step and we're gonna make the spam that's gonna go on top of the box. Okay, for the spam, I'm going to be using terracotta tile cardstock. This piece here is two by three and a quarter inches. I'm going to be using my detailed trio punch and I'll be using the corner rounder portion here. So I'm gonna stick in my little terracotta tile cardstock and I'm going to round all four corners. Okay, so I have my spam, but sadly this will, will not do. Spam, when you use a spam for a Moosey Bee, it's got to be much thicker than this. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually do that same process that I just did six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so I have my six pieces of Spam, and then what we'll do is we're going to use the multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm going to glue all six of these together to make a little bit thicker piece of Spam for our Moosey Bee. Okay, so now we have all six of those pieces of cardstock glued together. So you can see it makes a nice thick piece of Spam for our project. Okay, so now we wanna add some seasoning to our Spam. So I'm gonna do that with my terracotta tile ink pad. So I'm gonna op open up my ink and then I'm going to be using a sponge and then I'll just dip my sponge into the ink and then I'm gonna just go ahead and brush along the edges to season my Spam and make it look extra delicious. Okay, so now that's done and now we're ready to adhere the Spam to the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my liquid glue again. I'm gonna place liquid glue on the back and then I'm going to just set that right there on top of my little box of rice. So now it's time to do the seaweed. So I'm going to be using a two by eight and a half inch piece of basic black cardstock. And then I'm going to take our Laura's tape technique, which is taking a piece of clear tape. I'm going to stretch it over and I'm going to adhere it directly on top of that two by eight and a half strip. And I'm gonna to try to get it on there as closely as I can. And if you have a little excess there, then you can go ahead and you can add another piece of tape. But you wanna do um, as best as you can to cover up the entire piece of cardstock, okay? Once the tape is on, if you have excess like this, you can either tuck it under or you can use a pair of scissors and you can just cut that off. All right, so now we have our taped up piece of um, basic black cardstock and so we wanna add some texture so that this will look like the nori or seaweed that we're gonna put on our musubi box. So for the texture, I'm going to be using the Old World Paper 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to take and place this in. Now it won't fit all the way, so I'm gonna run it through the machine twice. I'm gonna go ahead and run it through this way, and then I'll open this up, I'll flip it around, and then I will run it through the machine one more time. The end result will be a piece of seaweed that looks like this. Isn't that cool? So it has the texture and it has the shimmer to it, and now it is all ready to be a belly band for our Moosey Bee box. All right, so to put the belly band on, we're gonna flip this over, and then I'm going to be using our tear tape. So I'm going to peel off a piece and put that right along the edge of my, let me move that so you can see it better, of the back of the strip. And then I'm going to take another piece of tear tape, oops, sticky, and I'm going to place this right next to it. So I have two pieces side by side like that. I'm gonna just press it down and make sure it's adhered on there 
nicely. And then I'm going to peel it back. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay it here. And then I'm going to take my musubi and flip it upside down. And then I'm going to wrap it like this so that the seaweed wraps almost to the back here. And then I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna wrap it forward. And then I'm going to place it on there like that. Okay, so this is a belly band, so it's meant to slide off. So now I'm gonna just press it really good. And if you have a bone folder, you can just burnish it together like that. So you just wanna make sure that that tape adheres on there really well and will hold this band together. All right, so the box and the nori and the spam is all done. And the last thing that we wanna do for this box is we wanna add our sentiments. So I have a one and a quarter by two and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna be stamping with an image from the Rustic Retreat stamp set. I'll be using Sending Warm Christmas Wishes. And so let me get my Memento ink and the stamp. I'm going to ink up the stamp and stamp that right in the center of the white cardstock. And then I'm going to take this and flip it over. I'm going to add my liquid glue to the back. And then I'm going to adhere this to a one and a half by two and a half piece of basic black cardstock, okay? So I'll just press these two layers together and then I'm going to open up my box and then I'll turn this over and I'm going to add some more adhesive onto the back. And then this is going to get mounted onto the inside of my box. For the final sentiment on this project, we're going to be using the gift wrap stamp set and I'm going to use this stamp that says wrapped especially for you. Now I'm gonna do some embossing for this. So I have a scrap piece of basic black cardstock. I'll be stamping with Versamark ink. Here's my image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp that right there on the edge of the cardstock. And then I'm going to take my embossing powder and I'm going to pour it on top of that part where I just stamped. And then I'm going to pour off the excess powder back into the jar. And so now we have our words there, if you can see that, that's all the powder over that Versamark ink. And then to finish this, I'm gonna take my heat tool and heat this up. Okay, so now our words have been nicely embossed on the black cardstock with white embossing powder. So I'm gonna turn this around and then I'll be using that same one and a half inch punch again. And I'm going to place this over my embossed words and I'm gonna center the words in the punch and then I'm gonna punch them out. The next step is to take a dimensional. I'll place it behind the words and then I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna put that right on the front of my little seaweed wrap. All right, so to finish this project, I'm gonna show you the best part. If you know me, you know I am all about matchy-matchy. I love things that coordinate together. And so when I designed this project, I knew I was gonna fill it with a Tanioka's gift card, but I had no idea what Tanioka's gift cards look like. So when I went and picked up the gift card, are you ready for this? Take a look at what their gift card looks like. It actually has a Spam Musubi right on the gift card. So this makes the perfect complement for our Spam Musubi gift card holder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now the gift card will fit in there, but I'm gonna take some paper shreds just to um, add a little bit of cushion behind my gift card. And then my gift card will sit nicely right there on the top of the box. Okay, isn't that cute? All right, so we have our Tanioka's gift card. We have our sentiment. We're gonna fold the box. Then we're gonna take our nori and place it over the box and slide it on like this. And now you have a perfect little fun box to give to your foodie friends this holiday season. And you're also supporting a local business. Well, thanks again for watching my video today. I really love sharing this project with you. I hope you'll come back and stamp with me again soon. Until then, aloha. Thank you.